Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel McNally Money, home of all things stock, investment, and personal finance related. Now for today's video, we've got a subscriber request for you. The company name is Neurosense Therapeutics. Their lead drug candidate is focused on targeting ALS. And this is a really interesting company for a number of reasons that we're gonna talk about in today's presentation. Before we do though, please take a second, hit the like button, you guys. It's a big help to myself and the channel. If you're not already subscribed, McNally Money, feel free to join. And let me know in the comment section below if you're currently holding shares of this company, your thoughts on their drug development pipeline and their key catalysts coming up in 2024. Now, with that being said, let's get into today's video. Okay guys, so that's right. Today's video, we're gonna be taking a closer look at Neurosense Therapeutics Limited, trades on the NASDAQ in the United States under the ticker symbol NRSN. Now this video was actually a subscriber request, you guys. So if you have any other companies or stocks that you're watching, you'd like to get some more information on, definitely let me know. This one is focused specifically on addressing neurodegenerative diseases, including ALS, Parkinson's, and Alzheimer's, which unfortunately have very few or limited treatment options that are currently available to people or individuals that are suffering from these conditions. Now, in terms of share price here, you can see this is as of close on February 2nd or Friday last week down about 1% on the session, 2.3% after hours or about three cents per share, giving Neurosense Therapeutics a current share price of $1.25. Now, if we pull up a six month chart, you can see a very active mover here with shares trading hands back in August at about a dollar, drop down to support in the neighborhood of 44 cents at the end of October. We saw a massive move at the start of December up to nearly $1.50 and have really been in a fairly strong upward trend since the start of December. Now you can see Neurosense just came out with some news about four days ago in relation to their drug candidate for ALS, and that's really just the tip of the iceberg in terms of what this company has going on. Now with that being said, and since this is the first time covering Neurosense on the channel, I wanted to go to the corporate website. I'll leave this linked in the video description below, give you guys an introduction into what this organization is all about. And then we're gonna jump into the investor presentation and take a deeper look at Neurosense and their therapeutic offerings. So you can see tagline here is a new hope on the horizon. Again, in a lot of these conditions, you guys, there's very limited treatment options. Neurosense was born with the intent to answer the huge unmet need facing patients suffering from ALS with the understanding that this devastating disease might need to be addressed from a new perspective or angle. Neurosense Therapeutics is a clinical stage drug development company advancing a groundbreaking treatment for people living with ALS as well as other neurodegenerative diseases which we just mentioned focused on creating combined therapeutic strategies targeting multiple pertinent mechanisms in these complex diseases and the patients that are unfortunately suffering from them. Now a little bit further down the page, you can see they give additional detail about their combined therapy model, along with the opportunity to expedite drug development as Prime C, which is their lead drug candidate for the treatment of ALS, has been granted orphan drug designation by both the US Food and Drug Administration, known as the FDA, and the European Medicines Agency, or the EMA. So that allows the process or drug development pipeline to actually be expedited or move along a little faster, which is obviously crucially important for people that are suffering from ALS. Now, continuing along here, you guys, if we jump into the investor presentation, you can see three key highlights. First, developing the novel therapies for neurodegenerative diseases, which we talked about. Again, a very high unmet need in the current population of patients suffering from these conditions. Significant top line results from their phase 2B study for ALS, which we're going to look at in a second here. Also expecting their neurofilament results in January and their biomarker results in the first half of this year. And existing partnerships with Big Pharma, again, which we're going to look at and a fully funded business plan through Q2 of this year. And speaking of those recent phase 2B trial milestones, that was actually the article we saw in the intro that came out on Tuesday, January 30th, talking about some of the highlights of this clinical program. Now, in terms of the top line results, you can see that the combination of these two drugs showed a 29.2% decline 
in the disease progression or ALS progression and a 13.3% slowing of loss of respiratory function in Neurosense's phase 2b ALS trial for Prime C. And the other thing I wanted to call out is Prime C, again, their lead candidate for ALS, consists of specific doses of two already FDA approved drugs, which aim to work synergistically on several ALS targets. Now, jumping back to the investor presentation, we're now going to take a look at the drug development pipeline here. You can see a breakdown between the various indications here, including ALS, Alzheimer's, and Parkinson's, with ALS being the furthest along in terms of development, followed by Alzheimer's. Now, as you learn more about Neurosense Therapeutics as an organization, you'll learn this company was founded based on a personal experience with ALS. Shea was a close friend of the founder of this organization and unfortunately passed away from ALS. You can see how quickly the decline happened. It's incurable, you guys. It's a neurodegenerative disease that causes complete paralysis and ultimately death within only two to five years. Unfortunately, there's about 5,000 new cases of ALS just in the United States each year with Neurosense targeting overall patient count in excess of 80,000 individuals with an estimated annual market opportunity in the neighborhood of about $3 billion. So a huge market and again, with these type of videos, always like to relate it back to the actual individuals and families that these drugs are helping to live better and longer lives. Now shifting back to the drug itself, Prime C is a novel formulation. We just learned that it consists of specific doses of two already FDA approved drugs designed to work synergistically together on multiple ALS targets. Now they then go on to talk about their efficacy and some of the results they've seen all the way from their preclinical study right through to their most recent 2B trials. You can see 2A study results here listed as well, along with 2B trial design and to be trial endpoints, which leads Neurosense Therapeutics to believe that Prime C is a strong clinical and commercial candidate with big potential. Based on those synergistic effects we just looked at, the robust clinical efficacy and results that we're starting to see, the expedited and de-risk regulatory pathway, which includes that orphan drug designation and the fact that they're combining already FDA approved drugs, plus the fact that they've got patent coverage or protection all the way out till 2038 for the novel formulation, method, and combination that they've come up with. Now, before we wrap up here, you guys, there's two other slides I quickly wanted to mention. Earlier, I talked about some of their key partnerships and collaborations. Here you can see some of the biggest medical institutions and companies in the world listed. And below this, some upcoming catalysts on the horizon for 2024 that you may want to keep an eye out for. And again, as a refresher, you've got the neurofilament results, the biomarker results, the ALS end of phase two meeting with the FDA and the EMA, and the initiation of their ALS phase three clinical study as the next step in this drug development pipeline. So for those reasons, you guys, Neurosense Therapeutics is definitely one that caught my eye. If you're still watching the video at this point, I'd be curious to hear your thoughts in the comment section below, specifically if you're already holding shares of NRSN. If you're still watching by this point, hopefully you found some value. So hit the like button, you guys. Subscribe to the channel. We're almost at 41,000 subscribers. And with that being said, thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.